so I'm at work right now, and after I get off work, I'm going to go to the doctor and get my sinuses looked at and my tonsils chopped up into sushi. I'm at the gym right now, but I can't put anyone in video because I'll be in trouble or fire or something. Wouldn't be the worst thing. Anyways. So it's really dark outside. There was a car robbery out here one day, and... It was a lot darker, obviously, because of nighttime, and they were like, how come you didn't see my car getting broken into? I'm like, because it's dark outside, you idiot. It's over here. I'm gonna get my contractions looked at. They are sporadic. So we're here. Um, we're gonna diagnose why I'm having such terrible contractions. So, here we go. The lady was like, yeah, good luck to you, son. Good luck she to you. Cute. She and I was like, you. I was like, you make good luck with your contractions. Yeah. She was like, Yes, mommy, right. You make friends where I make them listen. Ah. And that's why I went to the doctor. The pharmacy. There it is. Shawty. So that's the sexiest model for an eye patch I've ever seen. Stop picking at my pimples, mom. She cut me. She cut me in line. Now what we're doing is me and mom are at one of my favorite restaurants. It's called The Hyatt. Anyhow, so we're having um, lunch now, and uh, so this is going to help the medicine go down. <clears throat> That's really going to help the medicine go down. So here's the atmosphere. It's very exciting. You know, I love Florida. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so ah, uh, yeah, feeling over here. Can you see the decline of me? Ah. <laughs> uh. So now the right tonsil is like in, in dire straits pain. I hate this so much. I should have got my tonsils taken out years ago. But everyone's like, no, you need your tonsils. They're your first line of defense. My first, my tonsils are always infected. I have bad tonsils. There's such thing as having bad, like a gallbladder. Yeah, kidney. You have. I mean, they're just parts of the body that are bad for the body. And my tonsils just so happen to be like germ buckets. So, thanks for everyone, all the doctors who allegedly knew it all and said, Oh, no, you need your tonsils. And you know what? I need my tonsils like I need my tonsils taken out of my head. Okay? And I just want to say that if you go to a gym and you don't see results in three three months, uh, it's not the gym's fault. It's your fault because you're not doing it right. Okay. So, right now, my mom's getting at the animal hospital. My mom's getting a flea crap for the dogs because, you know, they do this thing where they pee and poop everywhere. So we feel like if we, you know, if we uh, put them down, you know, forever, they won't do that anymore. Mom seems to think that that's a bit extreme. Whatever. Um, so what she's going to do is get, you know, dog diapers. I'm making all that up. No, the reason why we're here is because the dogs have, like, their skin is all jacked up like my tonsils. So they're going to um, get flea pills or whatever, and I guess the fleas fall off of them within like minutes because it's magic. Do you believe in magic? Any young squirrels have. My teeth are yellow. I don't like them. <laughs> the rains are coming. <laughs> I have a pimple between my eyebrows and my forehead. <laughs> the doctor was very nice. She's talking her um, Swedish language. She's like, I do not find what you're talking about, but you're fine. You do not do what I'm talking about. And I was like, well, if you need seven, <laughs> I can tell you where to look. <laughs> and she's like, Ricola Cantarotelapetro. I'm like, yeah, Ricola. <laughs> I tried it. No, she was Indian. A Hindu, not slurp. Yeah, I think slurp. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna make a cab driver joke. So, my head is on fire. I don't know if there's a fire. And, um, hide your kids. Because <laughs> this medicine is raping everybody in my throat. Okay, that's what I have. So, I told her, I was like, well, I do have. I had renters in my ears. And so, if you look in there, it's a wreck. It's from them. <laughs> So there was a little bit of a mess because of a ruckus and so because the tonsils of the neighbors and then my cerebellum next to my urethra. There's just a lot going on in my head. Hmm. 
so I guarantee some people can be like, oh my god, you didn't even read that when you said you read that? You're mumbling a lot. I don't understand. Is anyone watching this? No. And I'd be like, well, obviously you did. <laughs> Evil genius. <laughs> I was I was talking to my brain doctor. My, my, my therapist. The rapist. I can't say it correctly because I don't take it seriously. And he was telling me that, uh, he's like, I really am concerned about you because you hold a lot of things in and then you excriminate, discriminate, I don't know. And you do comedy and stuff like that. You're a comedian all the time. And he goes, I am. And I was like, he goes, do you worry about yourself, Sean? I was like, I do. And he's like, go on. And I'm like, I worry that sometimes I'm going to end up in a crazy, creepy, hot air balloon. And that it might provoke me to become a genocider. And I'm really concerned that I might land in Oz. And I might just kill all the munchkins. And then that will be part three of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you see how we got there? <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> that was saying. Mm -hmm. So I'm on medicine, and I have to take five pills a day, and then I have to take another one. Oh my god, it's like I have to take for six days, six, and then I have to take like this other pill. I forget what it's called. It's something. It controls something, like birth. I don't know. <laughs> so, so I have to take that, and I'm really excited about it. Because that's going to clear up my sinus infection. <laughs> I've had this go on for about a week now. Yeah. Because I have rhino sinusitis or whatever made up crap he said. So that means that my nose is super duper craziness. <laughs> oh my god. Anyhow, my neck is spazzing because I'm a psycho. Anyhow. <laughs> um, just on a serious note. I need to wear my retainers. Uh, my hips are getting fat and my teeth are bucking up and I'm gonna end up looking like... What's that one guy? Not... Ben Affleck, cause he's terrible. What's the other guy? I forget the Scientology goon. Not Tom Cruise. <sighs> he was in the movie where he was a dancer, I think a gay ice dancer. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he was in the Jonas Brothers. That's what it was. Anyways, I'm gonna look fat like one of those Jonas Brothers. I mean, Pishik and Herb. I don't know. Jewish names. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this episode. <laughs> let me know if you watch the entire thing. And if you don't let me know, well, then I'll just have to keep making these videos. 